Here is our SNR latch. Here's the S at the top, the R at the bottom. And I have the two LEDs here, the two outputs, Q and Q0. Let's investigate our initial condition and see if it makes any sense. So I have a 1 on R, a 1 on S, and a 1 for Q, and a 0 for Q0. All right, let's follow the logic. I've got one coming over here to the input of AND. I have a zero on the other input. One and a zero gives me a zero inverted to a one. The light goes on. The one carries forward down to the input of the R. And let's see, we now have a one and a one, which, inver which becomes a one, inverts to a zero. The light goes off. Zero comes back up here to the end gate. I have a one and a zero. That's a zero inverts to a one. The light stays on. All very well and good. Let me switch this to a zero. Now let's follow the logic. I have a zero and a zero on the on both inputs of my end gate, which becomes a zero output inverted to a one. I get a one output. Huh. No matter what I do in this state, that light remains on. The system has latched onto this state and will not change now. Now I put, position this into the 1-1 one, one switch position again, and now I click on the R switch. Oh, and it switches states. In this state, it has now latched onto, and it's holding onto it. It's not going to let go, no matter what I do. Let's investigate both conditions and see if it makes sense. This is a 1. I have a 0 coming in on this input. I have a 1 on this input. 0 and a 1 gives me a 0 for the AND. Inverted to a 1, the light goes on. A 1 comes up here to the input of the AND. A 1 and a 1 is a 0 inverted. A 1 and a 1 is a 1 inverted to a 0. Light goes off and the 0 comes down here. As we mentioned a moment ago, and 0 and 1 is a 0 inverted to a 1. It becomes a 1, and the light goes on. Let's change this switch to a 0. Now I've got a 0 and a 0 on the AND gate, giving me a 0 output inverts to a 1. The light remains on. Huh. What do you know? In this state, it is stable. It has latched onto this state and will not let go unless I have both of these in the on position and I click on the other switch. This time I click on the set switch and now it has changed. It has changed states and has latched onto this new state. 